black men really don't like dark skinned women like that. Or so that's what she says. Finding a black man that genuinely desires a dark skinned woman has been interesting, right? Because every black man I've dated, their type was always exotic, meaning light, light skin, skin, curly, curly hair. hair. <laughs> like, that's not exotic. Green she's eyes. Just, hello. She's just mixed, babe. <laughs> she's just mixed. Um, that's been my experience. But I'm someone who dates outside of my, my race. I date inside. Of, I date all around. You know, if you find you find. Um, but my experience in dating like European men or white men or just mixed race men or men of different cultures just treat women differently. I've never had to worry about fuck like maybe this man desires a lighter skinned woman when I'm dating outside of my race or when I'm dating a black man that genuinely desires a dark skinned woman or loves a dark skinned woman. Now, hearing this. First of all, if you've gotten this far, greetings. Hit the like button. One thing that I got out of this video is there's a lot of insecurities when it comes to dark skinned women. And a lot of dark skinned women have insecurities because of the way that they were raised. So dark skinned women grow with this mentality that sometimes black men don't really like them or want to pursue them because of the way that they were talked about growing up in middle school elementary school even in high school there was just one girl that i knew that used to ride my bus and because she was puerto rican and dark skin people would make fun of her because they would be like there's no way that she's puerto rican because she's dark skin as if dark skin puerto ricans don't exist that's another time for another day <laughs> but it was so bad to the point where she no longer wanted to identify as being dark skin she just said i'm brown and I'm like, yeah, you brown, but you mocha. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you chocolate. What you mean? This girl, like, four shades darker than me. Nah, I ain't dark. I ain't dark. I ain't dark. I'm brown. It was that bad. Her older siblings were light tone, right? If they were to say that they were Puerto Rican, they could see it. But because she was darker and she came out darker toned, they wouldn't believe her for her life. But it's very interesting that you have dark skinned women out here when they display their insecurities to the, to the world, you know, because there are men who be like, what is she talking about? Men get the backlash. Men get the bad end of the stick because when it comes to the insecurities and the emotional feels of these type of women, because they have an echo chamber of women who feel the same way, the majority looks like they are valid in the way that they feel and this is not to minimize or to disregard how you feel but at the same time you need to come back to reality and consider that you are dealing with insecurities if you mean to tell me every black man you come across somehow pursues exotic women or lighter tone women over you or that's just something that's constantly in your head every time that you meet a black man that's not a black man problem. That's a you problem. It is what it is. <laughs> so this lovely woman, Anaya, she makes this comment under this reel that I saw on Instagram. She says, the issue is that women shouldn't be trying to find a man. If a man sees you and likes you and wants to get to know you, he'll make an effort to do so. A man who knows that he prefers mixed or light skinned women isn't going to approach a dark skinned woman and if by chance this kind of guy does it's usually pretty obvious in the beginning that he's not taking you serious and she needs to move accordingly too many women see a guy they find attractive and grow crush without even talking to him and now he's on a pedestal in her head and she wants his validation whole time she's not his type and he never even approached her on his own i need to have this approach or excuse me i need to have this same perspective on dating until i realized that oh she okay my bad i used to have the same perspective on dating until i realized that there were always men who liked me just convinced myself that they weren't good enough that they weren't good enough and i instead want some guy who had never looked my way and want his attention instead there's a deeper there's a deeper subconscious issue a person rejects those who are genuinely interested in them to instead crave the validation of someone who shows them no interest and a lot of people do this 
I'm not saying colorism isn't real because I have experienced it myself and it's very real. What I'm saying is that you can't change people's minds when it comes to what they are attracted to. So stop ignoring the men who do want you while trying to force the ones who don't to change their minds. Shout out to Miss Anaya. Beautiful woman, lovely platform. Highly recommend that you go and watch her. But this is the issue that I used to have with the talk about colorism, right? Because I used to be somebody to say that if colorism is real, right? If we are to use the terminology of colorism, then there's a form of delusion because women can outright say that they prefer darker toned men and us men don't have an issue with it. Literally. I know a woman, I know a lot of women, but I know one, I know a woman who just will tell men up front, like, you got to be dark skinned, you got to be six or above six feet, you got to have locks, yada yada, right? There are so many women out there who can literally outright directly tell the world that they prefer darker toned men and that lighter toned men, ew. A lot of women prefer dark skin or any type of skin besides light skin. Like, I don't, you, really your type like ain't light skin. For I real. mean, I really don't you care. You know my type is light skin. Yeah, I really don't But care. you can be, you don't have to be light, but you don't, I don't, like. They won't get bashed. As a matter of fact, the majority of the women be like, yeah, girl, then, then, yeah, you do you. And, and I know where you coming from. Let a man talk about he want a light skin. The whole world is going to explode. Soon as a man talk about he want a red bone, he want a yellow bone, they get an uproar. Here comes the colorism. That's all y'all want. That's all y'all see. That's all y'all desire. Y'all ain't even be looking for us anyway. But if he, if you can have a preference for darker tone men, how come he can't have a preference for lighter tone women? Because it's self hatred. Black is black. I'm not saying there aren't men out there who pursue lighter tone women or mixed women or whatever the case is because of their self-hatred. I'm not saying that doesn't exist, but if there are men out there who just literally genuinely have a preference for lighter tone women, just like how you genuinely have a preference for darker tone men, what's the issue? You don't know what a man, what's going through a man's head <laughs> when it comes to the basis of a woman being of a lighter complexion. I have seen men literally get bashed slandered because they have dated or because they have pursued or built families with lighter complexion women lighter complexion black women it's despicable <laughs> to see it because they have built these type of black women who have these insecurities have built this paradigm on social media that when you pursue black you got to be this complexion Sorry, Mikey. You got to be this complexion or darker. They will literally play the paper bag test on you. Now, if a woman, if a black woman pursues a lighter complexion, black man, nobody really looks at it any type of way. But as soon as a darker complexion or a darker toned black man pursues a lighter, way lighter complexion, black woman, they look at it. They side eye it. They're going to talk about it. They're going to slander him. They're going to tweet about it. They're going to text about it. They're going to make a reel about it. While they talk about colorism, they also contribute to colorism in the same breath. Not planned, but um, my preference is dark men. Angel? You see what I'm sitting next to. Is that, is that your preference? Though? Absolutely. No, nah, that's probably not your preference. It's my only preference. No, no, no. no. That's good for the. No, 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 it's because I'm light skinned, ain't it? I want to date you. Yes, because you light skinned. And this right here is a prime example of why. Y'all too sensitive. Get out your feelings. I or, or, or lighter complexion because of this, that, and the third. While also pointing the finger at men who also consider or have a preference for a certain complexion of black women. What do you like in a woman? Preferably dark skin. Preferably like 4-5. Preferably. <laughs> How that color is? Get what? your phone back, cause you're literally with the light skin, and you're talking about dark skin. What? I like my dark skins. What, what's wrong with that? 
Stop it. Get some help. Expeditiously. Because there's no possible way in the world you could think that you're sane to even go through that type of mental processing. You need some really deep evaluation on a psychological level. And, and talking about it, right? Talking about these issues, talking about these problems, there, there are no solutions to it. It's just like they're complaining, they're, 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 they're whining <laughs> and complaining about the issue, never bringing in any solutions. Because they also contribute to it as well. Most of the women that you hear that talk about colorism contribute to the same issue as well. Because one of two things are happening. Either one, they date men outside of their race, non-black men. And so they have this despicable, this despise for black men, right? Subconsciously. Or two, they prefer someone of their complexion or darker and unconsciously or indirectly talking mess about lighter complexion women and lighter complexion men. Uh, the so-called privileges that they have when it comes to them being lighter toned. And then what's even worse is that now because in this day and age, darker complexion people um, be put on a pedestal social media wise. Now you see slander with light skin. Now you see, now you see slander with lighter complexion people. So now you're doing the same thing that you was complaining about in reverse. The jokes still go on on social media. I still see them. The jokes between dark-skinned uh, Negroes and light-skinned Negroes. Dark-skinned women and light-skinned women. Dark-skinned people and light-skinned... It still goes. Now because dark-skinned people have been put on this pedestal and that they have been looked at in a sort of light of being beautiful as well, now they just discard lighter complexion people. I remember when I started posting and, and when I post stuff on social media, people won't have an issue regardless of what I do. But I remember a time when I started just somewhere throughout the week. I just started posting, I guess, lighter tone women. Right. And it was this dark skin little. She was a bit husky. All right. Husky dark skinned woman come on my page talking about all you do is post light skinned women. When you gonna post the, the dark skin and the darker complexion sisters? Ma'am, does it matter? That that wasn't even in my wasn't even my thought process with the women that I post. If a woman fine, if a woman has a, a certain artistic craft to her, I'm gonna post it. I remember I made a reel and they were like, you uh, you you ain't got the, the thicker women in there. So then I put thicker women. I start putting thicker women in my reels. And another woman. You you ain't got the skinny women in there. Then I start putting skinny women. Where, where's the where's the thick? Where happened to the thick? Oh my God. Y'all women. We ain't dealing with women. These bitches. Are out of their goddamn minds. You need psychological help. You need to deal with your, your trauma. You need to deal with your insecurities. You need to deal with them them funny, you know, jokes they used to make fun of you at middle school at the lunch table. I don't know what it could be. Boyfriend broke up with you and started dating a Becky. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. You need to lose weight. You need to love yourself. You need to love your complexion. You need to find a new environment to date men. I don't know. I don't know what you need to do. Find Jesus something. Somebody. I don't know. Leave me alone. Please. Anyways, y'all let me know how y'all personally feel about this. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like button. Share this with a friend or two. And before you go, I'm going to need you to watch this one to view. Alright? Don't want to miss that one. Till next time.